Monstrous makeovers! Hi, I'm Quaylon Kelly and I'm a pro makeup artist and I'm here in the studio today to take you through a monstrous makeover that you can recreate at home. You wanna be a witch? You will need liquid latex, eyeshadow, pale foundation, tissue paper, fake blood, dry shampoo, makeup brushes, and sponges. Let's begin the horror! Step one, liquid latex. I'm going to tap this on around the cheek. So you're gonna to want to layer this and let it dry. You'll get a wrinkled effect to the skin. Repeat this process on the other cheek, as well as on the forehead, under the chin, and around the eyes. When the latex is dried, you'll start to see that wrinkly effect. Step two. Tissue paper. You want to apply more liquid latex and then place your tissue on top. So when applying the latex on the tissue in the nose area, do a little extra latex. You can almost mold it to make the nose a little bit more pointed and a little bit more lumpy. Step three, foundation and eyeshadow. Using your powder brush and your palest foundation, paint a base layer over the skin, including over the tissue and the latex. Next, dust a layer of brown eyeshadow over the cheeks to bring out the texture of the skin. Step four, fine details. Now we're into the fine details. Darken around the eyes with brown eyeshadow, paint the mono brow with the black eyebrow pencil, and paint the lips with black eyeliner. Be creative and add whatever details you think works best. Final step, dry shampoo. And what we're going to do is we're going to spray it in. Okay, Lily, let's finish off the look. Take your hat, Thank pop you. that on. Are you ready for the big reveal? Yep. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh my God. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Happy Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.